Well, here I am again at the model site that we're recreating. And this time, we already did a welcome statement for the welcome page when people first get here. But you know, I would actually like to go ahead and put something nice on each one of the pages, each one of my class pages. And so like English here, I went ahead and I put a pic, got one out, got an image, put it on the page. We'll do that later on. But right here, you see this sentence? So I went ahead and I wrote a nice little sentence that people coming to English can see what my expectations are, what I've learned, things like that. It's only a sentence or two, but it's nice to have some, some sort of a warming, welcoming sentence uh, when, you, when you go to somebody else's page. And that's what I want you to go ahead and create right now. So how do we do it? In the process of doing this, you at least know that you've gotten experience on entering text again and then formatting that text. So I'm going to go back to my page. I'm going to go to my English tab, English. I'm going to come over here, click on the pen, because the pen allows me to make edits. And then right here, this is where I'm going to put my text. So I've already gone ahead and I've typed up mine. And let's say I want to change the, as you're making yours, just like you did on the welcome page, please take a few minutes. Don't copy mine, but take a few minutes. Think up something nice of what you've learned or what you expect to learn in sixth grade English this year. Um, and then uh, add it in. And then format it. Make it nice. So if you want to change the size of the font, go ahead and change the size of the font. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. If you want to make it bold, so here, how about I just went too small. So I'm going to go 12. Now I'm going blind. Ah, I don't even get bigger than that. So how about 18? Not bad. How about bold? Not bold. How about colors? You can change it to whatever color you want. How about purple? How about... Just do something nice. This is for links. Here's for uh, bullets or for numbered. Uh, sections. Here's indenting in. Here's do you want the left side? Do you want the center? Do you want the right side? These are all skills you have from when uh, using basic uh, um, editing tools such as Microsoft Word, uh, such as uh, even now Google Docs. And as you know, right here, if you make an error and you don't like it, just go ahead and hit, do the undo key and or on your control on your keypad uh, uh, control Z or on Chromebooks I think it's alt Z um, but just use this one the undo and go through type up your statement format it to make it look nice and we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next step